Hello and welcome. My name is Merely Adequate, and Bebop and I are so glad that you could join us today. As you can see, I have a hole. <laughs> I have a very large hole. Now, it's not super deep. Um, it's not uh, going to be doing anything crazy. This is just supposed to be where our storage system is going to go. So I've carved out these four areas, north, south, east, and west, that will hold the main storage area. It's pretty large because I'm trying to go for an automatic sorter. I'm hoping these four sections will be everything that I need and I can use some of the side areas between them to do some maybe bulk storage or non-sorting item storage, some workstations, etc. So that this area in the middle can be a very useful space as I continue to build out the rest of the build. But I do have a bit of a problem that I haven't encountered yet so far. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> uh, this build is much bigger than anything I have done so far, and it's causing a bit of an issue. Something I wanted to talk to Bebop about. So let's let's uh, let's fill them in. Hey, Bebop, how's it going? I had a question for 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 you. Why is there a button on the ground? Does it? <laughs> um, should I push it? <laughs> You're all staring at me, and I don't know if I should push this button. I, I'm not gonna push it. Okay, we're gonna try to ignore it. I'm not. Gonna, <laughs> oh man. Oh, okay, okay. Bebop, I, ha I, <laughs> I have a bit of a problem. Uh, so. This build is bigger than anything I've done so far. Uh, and I I need a lot of materials. But I can't I can't get them all here. There's I, either I need help or or I I need some kind of resource or something that'll help me to uh to get all my stuff here to the build from all around the world. Yeah, okay. Okay, I, it sounds like you understand me. Do, do you think you can help? Yeah? Well, you... Are you are you going to do something now? Um... Sh should I come back later? Oh, uh, okay. Okay, um... <laughs> the way you're all staring at me. Um... Uh, I'll, I'll be back... Uh, I'll be back later. Um, can you get rid of that button? <laughs> <laughs> that thing is freaking me out almost as much as you all staring at me uh, uh, Okay, uh, thanks Bebop. Uh, I'll look for your solution later uh, Okay, bye <laughs> While we're waiting for Bebop and his friends to solve our resource problem Let's uh, you know, I have a bit of a problem uh, with food uh, ever since I left the village, uh, my good source of food has gone away. So I think I need to return to the village and pick up a little bit of food and maybe a few other items, okay? All right, let's go do that. I know we've only been away a couple days, but I really do love this village. <laughs> and so many villagers here. It's just flourishing. But okay, I came here for the carrot shop. Hello, sir. I would like to buy some carrots, please. Yes. Thank you. Okay, now that we're stocked back up on golden carrots, I guess it's time to head on back and see if Bebop has anything for us, okay? Right, let's go. Oh, hey Bebop. How you doing? What's that you got there? Is this... Peepop? How did you get these? Where did you... I know where I would get them, but how did you get them? Are these shulker shells? Uh, 
Bebop, you have impressed me a lot lately. I, I've gotten to know you a bit better, but I am very confused of how you got shulker shells from another dimension. Can you show me where you got these? Yeah? Oh, okay. This I gotta see. All right. All right, show me. wherever that is but that was quite a journey you could have told me if we're just going to come to a village couldn't we just gone to hayfield i <laughs> that was a really long ways what is there something here in the village all right well let's let's look around i guess it's, it's just like a regular village to me did you see all those cool places though we went through I'll have to remember all those cool biomes. The ice spikes were particularly cool. I really love that place. I, I, I really I don't know what to do with ice spikes, but it's really cool. Uh, oh. Oh, is that what you're talking about, Bebop? Because um, one of these things is not like the other, and it's that. <laughs> That's not a house. I don't know what that is. Okay, all right, we'll check it out. And hello, horsies. Oh, a pony. Hello, pony. It's a little spotted pony. It's cutie. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, all right. Um, what? Oh, it's a hole. Ooh, um, is that where we're supposed to go? Are you sure? It's a pretty long drop. Is it going to be safe? All right, well, I, I guess I'll trust you. Yeah, okay. Well, I, I guess I'll trust you. Okay. One, two... Oh, wait! You pushed me! Well, all right. Well, yes, this is the end. I, This is where I assume the shells came from, but I don't know how you got here. I guess since we're here, should should we go go take care of the dragon? I guess I I already have the shells. I don't. Okay. Well, um, hold on, hold on. I'm not really prepared for this. Let's see. Now let's put that down. Let's get out some armor. I, fire protection doesn't really work. That's eh, my gold. Okay, that's all I got. That's all I got. I don't really do a lot of this. Hold on. Okay. Suited up. I got a sword. I got a bow. I got a pick. I don't really have a lot of blocks. That's probably okay. Here, let's put some stuff away. Okay. Put some of my food. Oh, I still have some food in there. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? Let's get my sword out. Are you ready to do this, Bebop? Are you ready to fight the dragon? Okay. I know you can't handle any of the flying stuff. Um, uh, so, and I, I have to use my bow to do that. So why don't you take care of the Enderman and I'll take care of the dragon. Does that sound good? Yeah, okay, good. All right, ready? All right, here we go. Dragon, here we come and charge! Be 
Cutie Bob? Where's the dragon? I, what happened to the dragon? I, I know you didn't kill him. That's just ridiculous. <laughs> right? No, no, no. That's ridiculous. Oh, man. I, I, don't, I don't know what happened to them. You, you didn't do it, right? No, don't be silly. Okay, well, I don't really know what happened. Um, okay, well, if there's no dragon and, and we have the shells, I don't really have anything else to do. I, there's the dragon egg, but I don't really need that. Oh? Oh, oh, you want the dragon egg? What for? Oh, okay, well, I want to ask. Uh, okay. All right, let me go back to my stuff, and I'll get it for you, okay? All right. Okay, we cover this like this. And then we do this. That that and we have the egg is that what you want to be Bob <laughs> is this what you wanted okay well let's go home all right okay well that wasn't quite the adventure I thought it would be but uh I guess thanks Bebop I, I could really use the shells I guess I can head home now and um, put them to good use. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's go home. There will be many battles you will have to fight in life. But if you don't have to fight one, be grateful and move on. <laughs> I doubt that was the adventure in the end that uh, you were expecting. It's <laughs> not exactly what I was expecting either. I am still very confused about what happened to the dragon. Um, I, I don't think Bebop could have done it. I Maybe Bebop and all his friends? I, I don't know. <laughs> it's still just very confusing. But he somehow got there. Uh, you took care of or got around the dragon, went out and got chalkers. So that's something. I guess I should probably take a moment and explain what's been going on here. So Bebop and I have been working really hard to figure out how to get a storage system the way that we want in this space. Um, we've been getting some help from Silent Whisperer and his tutorials, um, but we wanted to change it up a little bit. So that's what we've been doing. We've been making some, uh, some space and getting things kind of started. I think what's going to happen is, is I'm going to uh, build up the main body of it, the chests and stuff. And then he's going to come along behind me and uh, do the redstone stuff below. Okay, so let's get a little time lapse going and we'll see what happens. Many hours later, uh, much of which wasn't actually in that time lapse, 
we are here. We, we've got something, uh, I believe, that's fully functional. It may require a few more tweaks and playing with a little bit, but I thought I would spend a little bit of time and showing you not exactly how it works. I can leave a description of, or not a description, excuse me, I can leave a link to the tutorial that Silent did below, but you'll notice uh, there are a couple differences between what he had and what I have. So let, let's talk about it real quick. One of the biggest differences you'll find whenever you watch that tutorial, if you choose to, is the configuration of the chests. Uh, so he has twice as many as I do, and he has them turned long ways. Now this is great for packing a lot of storage into a relatively small space, but I don't like it for a practical reason because once I apply signs or if I choose to use item frames to label everything, it makes it hard to get into them at that point. So I don't like doing that. So we alter, that's what Bebop and I spent most of our time doing, was coming through here uh, dropping out some of the things that he had, you know, leaving some spaces and making it so that I only needed four columns, but they're wider so that I can get to everything. Because I already knew I was planning on doing four total bays of these. So I still have twice as many chests as he had designed for his one section. I just kind of spread it out over everything. So let's take a second to talk about how it's going to work. So this is going to be a multi-item sorter. As opposed to the sorters that just decide what it's going to be at the top and that everything in that row, or excuse me, column, is all the same thing, this lets you put multiple things in each chest. So let's take a look. So what I've done here is I've renamed a whole bunch of this netherrack, just with a zero, just something very simple, uh, so that they are placeholders. And what I can do is come through here, for example, if I wanted to put yellow terracotta in here, I'd replace that with yellow terracotta. And now as every time the yellow terracotta comes into the stream of items being sorted, they'll know to go here. And I could do each of the different colors, I could do different things in here. It doesn't really work with non-stackable items, but it works beautifully with uh, the stacked stuff. So that's how it works. Uh, I have input chests here. Technically, this is the input chest. I, I like to have a couple nothing chests so I can just throw things in if I'm not wanting to take time to sort. Um, but yeah, this is the input chest. Uh, this over here, these with the ends, I haven't labeled everything yet. But what I have back here, let's see if I can show you real quick. What I have down here is JC Plays Shulker Emptier. I'll, I'll leave a link for that in, in, as well. I, I had to modify it so that it would fit in here. But uh, yeah, you just dump a whole bunch of shulkers full of stuff into these chests, and then they will automatically come uh, sit there, open, dump, and then continue on or uh, continue on to the next one. So that's the input. They wind their way up, down, up, down, <laughs> up, down, over, up. Down, up, down, up, down, all the way around. And then if I have not assigned a slot for something or if something is full, these are the chest where they'll go to and I can find places for them at that point. You can see over here that I have started a little bit of what I need to do. So here you can see the different types of cobble and stone slab stairs and walls. Uh, down, I, can, I have room for expansion down here. But yeah, so as they come in, they'll just fill up these areas. And then whenever, say, all three of these are full, they'll go all the way around and I'll know I need to make more room. Uh, to make room, what I was planning on doing, oh, excuse me, uh, I think it's the granite. Yeah, here's an example. 
I have an entire shulker worth of granite. So what I'm gonna plan on doing is as I fill up these areas, I'll just fill up a shulker and just leave a shulker in here so that I'm not continuously having to overflow to more chests. I'll just start having more shulkers in here. Uh, maybe if I run out, I can talk to Bebop. <laughs> I'm hoping he has access to more of them, but we'll have to wait and see. The weird thing, it's not that weird, but uh, for me to get used to is once you place an item in here, it takes three and a half minutes to actually go all the way around and find its way back into the output chest. Now that seems like a very long time and it, it actually is a long time, but I'm not just dumping one or two things in here. I'll be putting hundreds and thousands of items through and they filter as quickly as items can go through hoppers. So yes, it's three and a half minutes from beginning to end to start it, but once all those items are flowing, it's gonna be clicking through faster and faster. I hope I've done a good enough explanation for those of you who actually enjoy redstone and are interested in this stuff. Uh, if there are more things you want to know, please feel free to leave a comment or ask a question and I'll try to get to them. And if I don't know it, uh, like I said, I, I got these tutorials from some other wonderful players and I can steer you towards them to get more answers. If you were not that interested in Red Zone, I hope that I didn't take too much time explaining. I kind of ran through it quickly just so that I can kind of get the medium, uh, medium between those who are interested and those who aren't. But this whole time I was building this, I had one thing on my mind. Do you know what it was? It was that stupid button. Do you remember that button? The button on the ground, the button that should not be there. What is that button? I don't know what it does. I, I wasn't gonna push it, but uh, I, I think I have to. I just need to know what it does. Or, last time I, I, I pulled a lever and my horse almost died. I, I hope it's not the same. <laughs> let's, 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 uh, let's go see what the button does. Okay, I think they were over here. I, I just passed the contraption that they were working on. Oh, oh, they've added to it. Okay, well, they're not working on it right now, but yeah, they, there's lots of the amethyst crystals on there. I wonder if that's, if that's powering it in some way. They've definitely increased those. I think that's the only thing they, they've increased, some kind of extra power maybe. I, I don't know. Uh, I'll have to remember that. But yes, these dogs are still hanging out over here next to this button. Oh, oh, I see. You got closer. You're just tempting me, aren't you? I am so sorry if this does something that it shouldn't do. I, I, I promise I, I, I didn't mean, I didn't mean to. <laughs> if it's something bad. Here we go. Wait, 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 wait. Is that all it did? Did it... Does this button end my episode? Th that's very odd. I, I never had to push the button to end the episode before. Do you think it'll do it again? Okay, well, I, I, I guess... Thanks, th thanks for coming to my episode, and... Uh, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Nothing happened. N nothing happened, Bebop. Is it, is it a one-time use button? Well, that's silly. Uh, okay. Well, I, I, I guess, I guess that, that's all then. So.